Hello, today is Saturday, June 5th, and we do have some anniversaries today. Today is Patty and Aaron's 5th anniversary. Uh, Patty's channel name is CelloFly1. So Patty and Aaron, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. I have it for five years, am I right? I think it's five years. Um, it's also... Oh, that's the only anniversary we had. It's Patty's birthday. Patty's channel name is Patty Too Mad Regaining Health and Mobility. Two with the number two. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patty. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. It's also Rich, who is Anna's husband. Anna's channel is Anna's Journey to a Healthy Weight, I think it is. No, it's Anna's Journey. But Anna, it's Rich's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rich. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Got my shirt on today. What's it say? Some say I have ADD. But I don't think so. Squirrel. Actually, you can read it better than I can say it. Anyway. Um, oh, Sophia did spend the night, and so did Kylie. They had a little sleepover. Kylie usually goes to bed at 8 o'clock. She's a sleeper, I'm telling you. But she stayed up till 10.30. She partied hardy. <laughs> so, uh, and then they woke up about uh, 7.30. So I made them pancakes and bacon for breakfast. Got up at 8 o'clock. Went to bed about 2.30. I was going to take a nap today, and I never never got around to it. I got busy doing stuff. But anyway, um, they did go in the pool. So here's a little clip of them in the pool. What are you doing? Uh, a pop again. Ah. Yeah, the girls are in the pool. The water cold? Not that bad. It's cold, isn't it? <laughs> it actually feels nice, isn't it? I don't know. I'm not ready just yet. It's hot out here. It's almost 90 degrees. But that water is still cold. They were in the pool all day. They got done eating their breakfast and they went in the pool. And then they came in, they got dressed, played some on their computers a little bit, then they went back in the pool. And then... They got dressed and then they went to Kylie's house for a little bit and uh, came back, went in the pool. They were in the pool all day long, off and on. And then today, Josh was supposed to graduate. My neighbors, um, all three, Adam, Aiden, and Kyler, all graduated today too, along with uh, Josh. They had to split them up in different um, uh, classes, not classes, but time periods because of, they usually have it at a hall, or in an auditorium rather, and because of COVID they had to leave it, have it outside. Um, I did get a picture with my three boys of the neighborhood. I'm not gonna share it because I, I, I didn't ask their permission yet, but um, the three of them, they got a picture and I told them, I get to be in the back because I'm the tallest. <laughs> no, I'm the shortest, I was like short. They're all really tall young men. But, uh, so they were really happy. And then uh, Josh's time slot was at two o'clock. This school year, they, they messed up big time. Big time. Last year, I felt bad because what they did was they drove by people's houses and honked their horns. The buses went by with little banners and stuff because there was a couple kids in the block that graduated last year. It was such a letdown. Really, it was such a letdown. Adam, I'm thinking of you too. Adam over at Jones Point of Plate. He was a class of 2020. It was like, it was the crappiest year. It really was. But anyway, um, so... They had to put their pictures, senior pictures in so that they could have their yearbook. They had to put them in in November. So they put them in in November and they were supposed to get their yearbooks, their cap and gowns, their announcements, their invitations for parties. What else? Their class shirt. All of that stuff they were supposed to get well before now. Um, they didn't get any of it. None of it. They got the uh, announcements but the announcement said the wrong date on it. It didn't have their picture on it. It didn't even have their name on it. It was it was like really shabby. It was really shabbily, really done, done poorly. Josh picked up his cap and gown, which cost $50. And uh, he got home with it. 
and on the outside of the box, they get to keep the cap. The cap, they get to keep the cap and gown, but they still got to pay fifty dollars. So, on the outside of the the box, it said for five foot eight to five eleven. Josh is about five ten. They took it out of the box, looked at the paper, you know, like it's wrapped in the cellophane, and it said five foot eight to five foot eleven. And then, like on the back of the the clip of the like a little sticker on this thing, five foot eight, five eleven. So he gets up this morning, gets all ready to go to the cap for the cap and gown ceremony, and uh, takes it out of the package, and it was mislabeled. It was for six foot five to six foot eight. Uh, obviously, it was way too long. He couldn't. It would be tripping over it. The zipper went all the way to the ground. So even if he wanted to try to take it. To sew it like a sew a hem on it he'd have to take the zipper out to do that uh, if he tried to tape it up they would have had to tape it up like about that much so it would have looked dumb so he didn't go he didn't go to his graduation he says i'm not going to go across that stage looking like a, a silly silly pool so he didn't go i felt so bad for him because you know he said he said first of all i'm going to trip over the gown and then if you try to fix it it's going to look like it's trying like it was fixed and so he didn't go. So it was just like a crappy year all the way around. Just really was. I felt bad for him. I don't think he was really that interested in going anyhow. He'd do it more for your parents. Because I remember when we went for David's graduation, when he, we got done, it was long. He had, I think he had like 400 kids in his class. And then um, when we were outside and they were taking pictures, he, he was looking for his buddies. And so he said to his one buddy, Michael, he says, well, where's, where's, um, Jeremy and he says he didn't come. He says, What do you mean he didn't come? He says he didn't want to go to the graduation ceremony and David looked, You mean I didn't have to do this? <laughs> I said, Yes you did. It was a lot of work for you. I wanted to watch you walk across the stage. But anyway, so at least Josh will have something to remember. Just like Adam will always remember his high school graduation. Hopefully Adam you have a really good uh um what do you call it? college graduation because nothing goes on with that so you'll have a really good college graduation and then what else did I do oh I watered my plants let me show you how my plants look I really thought I'd show you the side of my house where my flowers are really blooming really well just got done watering them we had a lot of rain the other day so they're starting to come out and bloom That's the side of my house. Start it over here. And it goes this way. I'm waiting for my lilies to come up. They should be coming up pretty soon here now. I got a couple buds going. My glads, I should cut them down and put them in the house, but I guess I'm gonna leave them there. A couple more hanging plants. there okay this plant I've come to the conclusion I got to water every day it was perfectly blooming yesterday morning and today it just looks sad it did it once before and when I water it it does come back to life believe it or not it will come back and then the flowers and then into my yard I my flowers here Jim's mother got us this for our anniversary, our first anniversary. And those flowers. There's a bird's nest in the tree up here, so I put uh, my snowman feeder in here so that the mama bird doesn't have to go too far. And then my dick down here. There's Kylie, just got out of the pool. Sitting area down here. And then there's my gazebo up here. My plants seem to be doing pretty good. They're starting to bloom. And I do have right here. I think those are peppers. I'm hoping they're peppers. And then just my plants on my deck.
I did show you the other one. Oh no, I didn't show you yet. The one looked pretty sad. It did look pretty sad, the, the one flower. I, I don't know, I missed just one day, just one day of watering, and that's what it looks like. But I told you that once I watered it, it would look better. So here's a shot of what it looks like now, like three hours later. It's already starting to look better. It just needed a little drink of water. Looks nice, looks fine. But anyway, here's Jim. I don't know if I told you this, he's barbecuing. Dogs. No. I'm gonna have a salad with some cottage cheese because I'm staying on my plan today. I'm doing really well today. We'll see. Well, Jim is gonna be barbecuing hot dogs. Guess what Sandy's not going to be eating? What aren't I going to be eating, Jim? Huh? What am I not going to be eating? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Um, once again, you got to remember all the decisions you make as far as your weight loss, your food choices, anything. You're just one decision away from changing your life. So, make a smart decision. Always think of what's the smartest thing to do and think of your life as like a river a river never goes backwards it just flows along you can't you know you got to go with the current so that's what you need to do with your uh, your weight loss program is just go with the flow that's all you can do um and when you're really struggling really having a hard time try to remember why you started sometimes it's easy to forget why did i start it's been so long since I started, and I, sometimes I wonder, why did I start? And then I remember, it was 304.2 pounds. Oh my gosh. That's, uh, that's just totally unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. And uh, I, I don't ever want to get back up to that, that weight again. So I have to remember, and I have to be like setting my sails, going the right way, not worrying about anything else. So, yeah, it's going to do it for tonight things to tell you about the gazebo but I'll tell you that tomorrow and give me something to talk about tomorrow <laughs> okay so uh, if you're new to my channel please subscribe leave a comment hit that like button share if you think somebody might like to see it as always stay safe and I will talk to you guys tomorrow